live pictures right now. We're going to listen into their coverage. We're trying to talk to the uh, suspects in the vehicle to surrender. We understand that one is shot, two still inside the vehicle at this point, but multiple shots fired at officers during this chase. And you said the gunfire is still ongoing right now. Any reports of any officers uh, who've been hit? There's a, there was a report that there might be one officer hit. Well, we don't know the condition of that officer at this point. But again, this is going to be uh, just north of the 10th freeway. And I'm going to zoom out and show you just the intersection here as how many officers are involved here. And let me talk to my pilot real quick here. It's straight down. My side. So we're going to continue on. We're hearing that they're bringing the SWAT vehicles in here. They're going to be, we're going to be seeing that here momentarily. But again, this uh, intersection here is completely shut down. Okay, Jim. Are we in the middle of an? Are we in the middle of a Make residential a area here? Uh, no, no. This is a, a, a commercial area, actually. No residents that we can uh, we can see at this point, but uh, very commercial in this area. In fact, this is directly south of the San Bernardino International Airport. Again, uh, they're they're sending in the SWAT team right now to uh, try to uh, get these people to surrender. But we believe that this is the vehicle right here. We're hearing that uh, we're hearing officers asking if there's any any suspects that are outstanding that have maybe left. Uh, running away from the scene, but uh, at this point they're saying no. They believe that the uh, suspects are within that vehicle right there. Hey, Gil, I want to jump in just for a second. Our reporter Tony Shin is telling us that he, he's getting reports that two suspects are down. Of course, again, all of this unfolding before our very eyes. Preliminary reports for watching this. Uh, Gil, let me just ask you this uh, as we're watching it. Can you tell us which law enforcement agencies are engaged right now? Is this San Bernardino Police, uh, the Sheriff's Department? It looks like a, a combination of, of CHP and the San Bernardino Police Department. Uh, I've not seen the sheriffs here, although I haven't looked at all the vehicles at this point, but uh, more and more units are responding here to the scene. It is San Bernardino PD that uh, engaged this, the, the suspects in a pursuit here, a very short pursuit uh, that ended here. But again, uh, CHP and San Bernardino PD involved in this. You know, Gillis, we continue to look at your picture here. Uh, do we have the ability to bring in Tony Shin? He's at the command post, may know a little bit more. All right, Tony, go. What do you have? Now, within the past 10 minutes, Colleen, there has been a flurry of activity. We have seen police car after police car, also SWAT vehicles. I'm talking about the big ones, the big armored ones, going code, which means lights and sirens on just blazing down Waterman Avenue, heading south, I'm presuming getting on the freeway and heading over to the other scene that Gill is above right now. Now, this is all scanner traffic. We can hear, we can hear the police officers talking. Normally, we don't give out this information, but th what they're talking about is, is, it sounds like this is exactly what they're dealing with. We are hearing that there's one suspect down inside the vehicle, one suspect possibly down outside the vehicle, and another suspect on the run. This is what they're dealing with on the police scanners where the police officers are actually talking to each other trying to get into a situation so everybody knows what the possibilities are rapid fire shots my photographer alex vasquez says rapid fire shots they're talking about rapid fire shots what goes along with what happened here with witnesses that we talked to who say that they saw three armed men with armor with masks with long guns possibly assault rifles we don't know but we do know they were long rifles of some sort and there was a flurry of shots being fired that were heard from witnesses that we talked to who thought there was a gun range back here in the riverbed but it wasn't what was happening was that tragedy that was happening inside that building that you could probably not see uh, from where where our vantage point is right now because it is so far away we are being kept far away from there the reason being it's an enormous crime scene. But once again, let's get back to the beginning and, and just within the hang past on a 10 second, minutes. Tony, we're just looking. Yeah. A pickup truck, a brown pickup truck, just drove right through the middle of this, turned the corner, and kept going. It was the most incredulous thing I think I've ever seen. Turned between the, uh, the suspect vehicle and the two black and whites on the corner there. It is absolutely amazing. You know, anybody who would come out and commit this type of atrocity. You just don't know what they're going to do. And I think what's happening right now is the unthinkable. People who do these kind of mass shootings are unimaginable, horrible human beings. 
We don't know what their motive is. We don't know why they would target innocent people at this, this center. Right now, it sounds like they're on the run. Hopefully, police are going to be able to get them all cornered so that way we can end this. Well, Tony, right now our News Chopper 4 was following that vehicle. I think what it was is one of these armored vehicles that Tony was talking about, the heavily armored SWAT vehicles ran through one scene, but we're getting reports that there are multiple scenes. Uh, and the black with a dark colored SUV at one location as well. Again, one to two the suspects house? down right now. And all of this matching up, we've been hearing the reports of the rapid gunfire, all of this matching up with what witnesses at the original scene, the Inland Regional Center heard as well, that these men came prepared on a mission. And again, this looks to be the beginning of the end here as News Chopper 4 closes in on some of these SWAT vehicles. You can see members of the SWAT team, police officers, almost uh, appearing to use the vehicle as a shield, but now it's uh, moving forward. So again, bear with us as this is an extremely fluid situation. We're actually watching it from different angles in the studio here and bringing these pictures to you live right now. Yeah, those are definitely SWAT vehicles as we see them roll down. And uh, what we're looking for here is a black SUV. We've heard it described as a Yukon. I think more appropriately, the most recent report I had, there it is right there. I think. It